Hey guys, it's Makeup Basket time. I actually decided that for the month of December, I'm only gonna post two makeup baskets. They're going to be like a two week makeup basket. So this will be for this coming week and the following week. And that's just because with the holidays, and shopping and parties and things like that and work and <laughs> all the day to day things that we do, um, it's just getting a little bit difficult to make sure that I definitely film this so i have a whole bunch of videos i want to post so that'll just mean that i get two extra videos whether they're reviews holiday gift guides um you know my picks all that kind of thing i want to make sure that we get those crammed into the month without uploading like five videos back to back no one has time for that so i'm gonna get started i do have a lot in here since it's for two weeks but i just wanted to give myself options so I'm just going to start off, and of course I did not put this in like any particular order. I'm just going to start off with my eyes. I have two of these cream shadows from the flower line from Drew Barrymore. And this is in Time Willow Tell, which is a nice mossy green, and then Rest of Your Laurels, which is kind of like a silvery white. And I picked those for my cream bases just to spice things up if I feel like I need to. Then I got the um, Too Faced Be Merry Be Bright set. This came in like a little clutch with a mascara in the middle. And I picked both of these. Um, I was going to do one one week and one the other anyway. So now I just have both of them. This is the green one. And beautiful, beautiful colors there. And then it does have like the bronzer and the blush. Really pretty. These are all like shimmery or sparkly. And then that top right one, eggnog. It's just like a whitish cream matte color, but really pretty. It does have um, like a weekday and a weeknight kind of little tutorial that I never follow. But I think those are really pretty. Very excited to play with those. I got this like a month ago and have played but not have not worn any of it. And then this is Be Bright with the pink chevron. And here we go with these colors. Just beautiful. So, so, so pretty. If you guys want to see any kind of looks or tutorials or like a quick get ready with me, let me know. And I will definitely be more than willing to do that. Um, I have a ton of stuff in here and I wish I would have separated it. I did get this from the Sephora Fave Superstar set, whatever. And this is the Too Faced Better Than False Lashes uh, Lash Extension System. And it has like this white primer with the like little false fibers and then um this black mascara kind of over it i only tried this once and wasn't a huge fan but i figure for the next two weeks i am going to try this on and off um, because i don't trust that that would be good enough for my eyes i have my favorite the falsies volume express flared from maybelline i have not worn this in a really long time and this was my favorite and i've tried a bunch of other mascaras that i really do like so i'm just gonna reincorporate this into my routine and see how it stands up to the other ones and then I got this a couple weeks ago this is NYX the pin up tease mascara huge huge like tube and then you have this little tiny thing here but um it is a curved wand but then it's like flat on the top and the bottom you can see there so and I do like that but I feel like that's definitely a mascara it gives a lot of length um but it is something I need with another mascara. So I'm going to try these guys out. Is that it for eyes? No. I know I have liners in here somewhere. Okay, I have three liners. I have my Kat Von D liners that I got in the Beethoven set that I got online from Sephora. And I have, these are her autograph pencils. And they're awesome. There's Black Metal Love and Homey. It's just black and like a purple. These are really creamy, really, really nice mascaras. I mean, <laughs> eyeliners. Um, and then I have this one that I'm wearing right now. This is Stila Smudge Stick. It, it, it is waterproof. And this is in Lionfish. And because I'm a little far from the camera, it's not like you can see my liner. So that's kind of what it looks like there. It's like a nice brown, bronzy color. Um, but there is some dimension in there. And it's not metallic, but it's just a little bit. It's so, so, so pretty. I definitely recommend these. Um... I just still have not ventured into putting any of this kind of stuff on my waterline. I don't know. You guys know how I am with my waterline. The last thing for my eyes. I am going to be using my L'Oreal Magic Decrease Primer just because lots of makeup going on in December for the holidays. So you want to make sure that your eyes are primed. And this is just what that looks like. I really do like the L'Oreal um, Magic Primers for the face and the eyes. 
Um, I am also trying out the Gimme Brow from Benefit. I got this when there was like 20% off at Ulta, I think it was. So, because this is not something I normally use. This is really dark. I got it in medium deep, and it is a little bit pricey, but I'm just obsessed with eyebrows. Um, this is not something... I don't know. I'm trying it out. I'm not going to say anything because I've only used it a few times. At the end of the month, I will give a review and let you guys know what I think of this. Because it is pricey for your eyebrows. Okay, lips. I know I'm going to be doing swatches. Revlon. This is Shameless. This is one of the new matte balm stains. Really, really pretty. Love that purple. I am wearing this from CoverGirl. This is Ravish. It's just a very pretty color. I love it. It's not loud. Um, it's really nice. I think it's very complimentary and easy to put on. I didn't need a liner or anything. Um, another Revlon Color Burst. This is one of the lacquer bombs, and this is in Enticing. Guys, I wish I had like a remote for my camera. So I wouldn't have to keep leaning forward. I feel like I'm doing crunches. That's enticing. So, so pretty. I think I like the matte formulation better. Because um, depending on the color, the lacquers are a little bit difficult to apply. But this one is really nice. And this is just like a nice like reddish kind of color. Very nice for December. Which is why I chose it. And then, of course, my phone is going off. I think CVS is telling me to go pick up prescriptions. Um, I picked this the little Lorac Tantalizer. Um, this is just like a pretty bronzy color. I'm not going to swatch that because what's the point? This is in Raoul. I have had this before in my makeup baskets, but I really like it. It's just like a nice, light, um, warm color on your lips. I don't know. It's not bronzy. It's kind of nude, but with a little bit of color. Um, but it is nice to put over something or just to have um, on its own. This is from Tarte Rise and Shine. This is in Nectar. It's a lip gloss. And then it has like the lip stain. And you can see like just how light this is. I don't need to swatch it because it looks just like that. And then this is the lip stain, which is not as uh, pigmented there. Like I don't even, yeah, see there it is right there. Guys, I'm so excited. I got a Tarte High Performance Naturals Glamazon 12 hour lipstick. I love this packaging. I just think it's pretty. I got this in pure. Right away you could tell like, wow, Adrian, that is so not you. <laughs> because usually, you know how it is. I go for like the super bright colors. But I, I've been really wanting one of these. And I love this packaging. I know it's just so big and bulky, especially considering, but look at that. It's just, I, there were a lot of colors that I really, really liked that were really like pink or red or bright. Um, but I just knew this is something that I would use a lot. And it's just a beautiful like mauve, with like pink undertones it's just so pretty and it's something i know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of and that's really either i'm gonna get something even if i have a million colors just like it if i'm gonna buy a more expensive lip product i want it to be something i'm going to use a lot or a color i just absolutely love so i got this and i'm really excited to use that and i'm just gonna put it back in the box because that's what i do when i have new things those are all lips last is face um starting with concealer some of these, well, a lot of these are repeats, but again, two weeks, so let's go with it. Um, I'm going to be using my Revlon Age Defying Dark Spot Concealer Treatment. I was using this, I think, for my last makeup basket, or my second to last makeup basket. Um, it is new. I really, really like it, so I'm just going to keep using it. Um, and I've been using that with, my, with the Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup with SPF 15. This is new also. I have mine in Soft Beige 30. And I've been using those. I have been mixing it with something else that's new in the store is Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator. And this one is 100 Bare Light. And I've just kind of been blending that into like my cheek area and like just kind of right here just to give a little bit of a glow. I also have this little Hydra Life BB Cream sample that my friend had sent me. So I'm just going to finish this guy off. 
Also from Dior, I have a sample that I got at Ulta. This is the nude concealer in number two. And I have been using it. I do really like it. I would never buy it because it's super expensive, but free samples I will. So I'm just going to finish that off. I also have my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye with collagen and vitamin C and K. And I have this in neutral medium. This is really good. Um, and I'm just going to be using that. I haven't used that in a little while. And then I also have my Pond's BB Cream. This is in what? Light. <laughs> because look how pale I am. Um, but I do really like this. So I'm not looking to cake my face with a lot of makeup. And, you know, in December, it's so cold. My face has been really, really dry. So I thought I'd just stick to two face products and then like a few little samples. But trying to give myself some kind of hydration. Um, my setting powder is my dream matte powder. <laughs> so even though I want hydration, I don't want to look glowy and dewy. I just want to kind of glow from within in certain areas. So I definitely still need this. Guys, that was my Sephora bronzer. And it just depotted itself. The good thing is it didn't break. Um, so I'm going to hopefully finish this this month and be very careful. And then the last thing I have are three blushes, um, all drugstore. I have my Essence Silky Touch Blush in Baby Doll. Let me open this. So, so pretty. I love these Essence blushes. Sorry, I know I'm like flying through this um, video. So, so pretty. Um, it's like a rosy mauve color. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is kind of like the blush version of that Tarte lipstick I was just showing. Then I have Milani's Luminoso, which is more of like a peachy color. Very, very pretty. Just to add a little bit of luminosity to my cheeks. And then Pink Banquet Jane. This is one of the mosaic blushes. And I love these blushes. Great quality, great pig pigmentation. I like that I can get a lighter color or a brighter pop of pink on my cheeks if I want. Um, I've been feeling really pale because I am. So that definitely, definitely helps. So that is my makeup basket for the first half of December. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you plan on wearing. If you want to see any looks with any of these products or anything, any kind of video requests that you have for December, just let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Keek, and my blog, becomingadrianablog.blogspot.com. And stay blessed, stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.